What's happening, everyone? Welcome back for another episode of the Chamber Podcast. My name is Rob Johnson, and joining me in the studio, we have a packed house today, is the team from Brighton Aesthetics and Wellness. We have Jennifer, Marquis, and Kai. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Thank you. So, is this everyone's first time podcasting? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. So, what's the what's the nervous factor? One to five. Let's take a temperature of the room. How's everyone doing so far? I'm having a great time. Yeah. Oh, like straight five. All right, yeah. good. I'm getting ready. I mean, I, I, I'm <laughs> so we have, the, we have the spectrum. Kai at a one, he's at a five. <laughs> Jim for somewhere in the middle. So this will be great. And I, one of the things I like about this podcast is learning more about businesses and specifically why the business was created. So Jennifer, I know you're the owner of the uh, of the organization. So tell me a little bit about what got you into aesthetics and why you started Brighton Aesthetics and Wellness. Well. I, I've always been an avid health fanatic, and I'm a runner, and I, I love the gym, I love working out, but as I started getting older, I realized that there's only so much you can do to um, prevent aging, and you know, when, with a, you know, if you're just going to the di- gym, if you're just wearing sunblock, I started looking at, like, what can I do to make my muscles stronger as I'm getting older? Um, it felt like I wasn't getting quite the returns at the gym that I was used to getting, and, you know, so I started investigating the whole industry probably in 2016, 2017. And I, I attended all the shows. I was looking around at what people were doing. I was looking for the technologies that were next level and that, that could really give you real results without surgery, without, you know, a real invasive type treatments. And, you know, and that's really how this all launched. That's awesome. Now, I know you, you had mentioned, uh, was it 2019, the business kind of started yes. and started strategizing. What has it been like over the last four years to scale the business through some pretty interesting economic times? And Well, we bought, we bought all of our equipment November 2019. We all know what happened in 2020. So it was really interesting trying to, you know, build the business during 2020, 2021, when the whole state was shut down. Yeah. And, you know, and, and our, our equipment is not, um, it, you know, I mean, it's, it's not zoom friendly. It, it's, <laughs> well, it's not zoom friendly, but it's also, you know, like the equivalent of a house, you know, for most people, it's, it's expensive stuff, Sure. you know, so you're looking at like, how can I get, you know, return on this? And, you know, while, you know, the whole state is shut down and, and all that. So during COVID, what we basically did is, um, we had, you know, friends and family in a tight circle and we started doing our training and our treatments on friends and family. And, you know, word spread. So by the time the state opened up, we had a lot of people just asking, can we do these treatments? And at that time, we were actually offering them at an in-home spa. And so we hadn't, you know, opened our downtown Brighton location. But as uh, soon as the state opened, we started looking around and we found our little corner spot in downtown Brighton. And we've been going ever since. That's awesome. So... Uh, Marquis, Kai, what has it been like for both of you to kind of see the company as it's grown? Talk to me a little bit about your experience, where you guys have started and and what you guys are doing to help uh, Brighton Aesthetics continue to grow. We'll start with you, Marquis. For sure. It's been really, really cool. So I initially got kind of into it because um, we were using my my face as like a, a test area for um, one of the laser treatments, it's really good for acne. And I started getting these crazy breakouts. I wasn't used to it. I had no idea what to do. And uh, we started doing these treatments and it was crazy. Like I would have like act, it's kind of gross, but I'd have like active acne. And then we would do one treatment and it would all, it would all be flat. It would all be gone. And it really got me like hooked. I was like, this is insane. This works instantly. This is so cool. This is actual magic where it like, and you don't have to spend like a hundred dollars every month on a, like a skin cream or something. It's really cool. Yeah. What about you, Kai? So for me, I think the biggest difference, uh, I it was around, gosh, I think that was, yeah, it was around end of 2019. I actually had a pretty severe ankle injury. So it was a pretty bad fracture. And uh, I was, I couldn't work out really my legs, like with any kind of efficacy at all. It was a big problem. Even walking was an issue. And it's like taken a while to bounce back. But in the process, we were able to use the AccuFit on my quads, my calves, like pretty much anything to kind of continue developing my legs so that I didn't completely atrophy, especially because, I mean, gyms are closed down for like it was a solid year before anything was really even open, like for working out. So that was uh, that was frustrating. There was a lot going on, but it was pretty cool getting to be a part of experimenting with all these machines and kind of 
like it's one thing to see it and it's one thing to hear about it, read about it, but so many different, like I've tried all kinds of physical therapy. I've tried a lot of different solutions over the years for handling joint pain, chronic pain, instability, everything like that. And this was sort of the first time that I started to actually see results come from it. And that was, uh, that was a huge relief. Honestly, it feels like it gave me back a lot of mobility and just, I don't know. It, uh, it, it's helped me return to some semblance of normal. I think from like a workout perspective, from a health perspective. Yeah. That's a great testimonial. And Jennifer back to you. So I know there's a lot of different areas that you can help people in. So give me a rundown of the services from a top level perspective. Well, basically we're, th- we're focusing right now with our location downtown Brighton on three different areas. So we're focusing on skin, hair and body. So with, with all of those our three machines that we're using kind of cross over so with skin, we're doing everything from, um, we're, you know, laser resurfacing, uh, skin tightening, we're getting rid of like the, um, the pores, you're, um, we're doing a natural facelift um, with, you know, our, I don't know if you, how technical you want me to get into like no, the products. You're, f- but, you're fine. No, 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 um, that's fine. We're doing like a, what we call the natural facelift, where we're using two of our machines in combination, and it basically uh, creates a little bit of damage, then your body goes and restores it. And in that restoration process is tightening the skin and building your elastin and collagen and that's where you really start to see the anti-aging effects but it goes beyond that on the skin side too like so we're doing um, we're addressing skin laxity like on the underarms a lot of women as they get older uh, no matter how in shape you are it your skin is going to start to sag and so we can use this you know on on the elbows the underarm on the hands you can use it anywhere to basically anti-age the skin and just create it thicker um you know, more, you know, strong dermal layer. Um, then on the hair side, we actually do hair restoration. A lot of places are talking. doing hair removal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but <it's, laughs> I don't need that. I need the restoration. But we, but we do hair restoration. As long as there's a hair follicle, we can, we can revive that hair follicle. And, you know, of course there's always like, um, there could be hormonal balances or things like that that are causing the hair loss. But if we get that hair restored and we can, you know, we can at least start that process of rejuvenating, you know, the hair and it's amazing. Like, so, uh, we had, Kai actually had a friend who went to college in his twenties, was super stressed out and he literally lost all of his hair on the top of his head. He had just a little bit of hair, you know, on the, on the back and the sides. And so he was one of our first experiments on, you know, our laser hair restoration and um, I think this was during COVID that actually we started the process. Yeah. And I mean, he was, he was 22, 23 when he lost all of his hair. Oh, wow. So it was like. Very young. Yeah. And, and to make it worse, you know, he really enjoyed um, performing arts. And so he just, he felt like, you know, I really, you know, I always had to wear a baseball cap or something. And, you know, he just, it, it was really, it was really hard for him. And so we did the, the sessions on him after um, the t- first two sessions, you could see all these little baby hairs coming in on top of it, his head. There's still a lighter blonde. So he's a, a natural blonde. And when those hairs are, when they're growing in, they're actually coming in the original natural hair color and so they'll darken up but it's been probably like what you know a year and a half since we did the last treatment on him and so over time you know those those hairs will you know begin to blend with all the rest of his hair but now he can just color it or highlight the sides whatever he wants but he's got hair that's cool so is it oh wait i didn't go into body yet oh okay all right very good so that's right there's uh there's three verticals so yeah. What was the body so, one? So the body one basically is everything from the muscle stimulation, which we can do um, pre and post surgery. And, a lo- and Kai was talking a lot about that. Um, our device is the uh, AccuFit. And it's a third generation muscle stimulation device. It's one of the, um, it's the only one on the market that we really truly believe in because we've tried some of the other um you know, machines out there, I actually owned them. And the day I tried this machine, I sold my machine and bought the, you know, I bought the AccuFit because it's that big of a difference. Um, When you put these electrodes on, on your abs, for example, um, if you're just laying still, you literally feel it pulling your muscles like you're doing a crunch. You can feel the hold. Um, you, we've we've done it on biceps. You can use it on um, any muscle group on the body, with the exception you cannot have it over the heart. 
Okay. What is the most common use cases for people uh, for the AccuFit machine? Oh, there's a wide variety. So I'm a runner. Um, I was experiencing lower back pain. And that was one of the things that I was looking at is, you know, what can I do to strengthen my core beyond what I'm doing at the gym? Because I mean, I would do planks, I was, you know, constantly at the gym, I was doing everything I could. And it seemed like the older I got, I just couldn't I just couldn't get, you know, the strength that I was used to. And so I go on these, like, after a 12-mile run, my lower back was just aching. And, you know, so I was looking for a device to, you know, to really solve that. Uh, So after doing the ab sessions, I literally have no back pain at all. It's like, it is so incredibly, it's, it's just, it's a game changer for me. Um, but we, so a lot of people are coming in for that purpose, but then they're also coming in for the aesthetic side because everybody wants tight abs. And the interesting thing about the AccuFit is it also does fat volume compression. And so people are seeing, uh, like we, they didn't even tell us this when we first bought the equipment. They just said, oh yeah, it's muscle stimulation. And I started noticing that one of our co-founders, he was actually seeing a loss on his love handles without changing anything, no diet, no exercise, nothing. And I was like, that's interesting because I expected to see his core getting stronger, but I did not expect to see, you know, an actual fat volume loss. And I I sent them an email. I said, wow, look at these results we're getting. And I said, do you think this just is just because it's increasing his metabolism? And they said, no, actually look at this study. We're seeing this in the study. It is actually compressing the fat cells. So it's not removing them. It's just, it's fat cell compression. Interesting. And are you finding that more and more people are interested in the aesthetic side or more so on just the overall wellness, fitness? What are you finding people gravitate towards more? I think that it's really well known for the aesthetic side, but we are trying to market more toward the athletes because we feel like that's an untapped market. And I mean, for the bodybuilding industry, that's like, it's huge because you can, you know, you can get those final gains without any uh, muscle soreness. Um, You don't have the same downtime that you have uh, with like going, going to the gym. It's, you know, Kai, you could probably speak a little bit more on that since you're in that. Well, it's also great for correcting any issues with like muscle symmetry. Uh, I mean, a lot of guys, I mean, or a lot of people in general tend to uh, have like issues with symmetry. So like one shoulder will hang slightly lower than the other. One arm is stronger than the other. One leg is like kind of falling behind or, and I mean, those things can cause injuries. Uh, If people are involved in bodybuilding or something where they actually like that kind of symmetry and that kind of aesthetic, like comparative matters. Uh, that's what a lot of people use now to get that additional edge. You know, it's like, especially if people are preparing for say a competition, it lets them round out those final finishing touches on their physique without necessarily having to overwork themselves or like change their lifestyle fundamentally in order to do so. Well, and the NFL teams are using the AccuFit too, because they can get, you know, the, the strengthening without the lactic acid buildup. And you're, we're also seeing pro golfers. This is really huge. You know, if you're looking at the coastal states, um, it's just huge. Like down in Florida and L.A., you know, places like that, um, it's it's really well known. And, you know, baseball players, golfers, anybody that is doing a sport that, you know, is, is going to naturally create a muscle imbalance, they're looking at the AccuFit because then it increases the longevity of, you know, of, of your, your play. Okay, interesting. And what, what has been the... I guess the adaptation of this over the last 10 years is something that is just kind of hitting the market now and people are gravitating towards it's been around for some time. Well, muscle stimulation has been around for some time, but the AccuFit, the third generation AccuFit is, you know, is the came on the market in 2022 or 2021. How long has it been? I'm trying to think. Uh, I believe that was 2021. We were one of the very first companies to, to purchase the machine. And so okay. um, last summer, there was, we were only one of five in Michigan. And, you know, and so we're, you know, it's definitely the, you know, most advanced technology that's out there on the market. Um, but I don't know, like, I, I don't know exactly how long muscle stimulation has been out there. I just yeah. know that. It is interesting to me, like, I, cause I'm a big UFC fan. So, you know, in the mixed martial arts game, I'm sure that would be something that people would, people would be, you know, down for if it's not creating extra lactic acid, but it's strengthening, you know, the core. Absolutely. You know, it's really popular for uh, like quads, building those areas around the knees. 
Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mark, you were going to add something? Well, so you were talking about like this technology. It's, it's been around forever. So about 10 years ago, I had knee surgery and part of my physical therapy for months after was using a muscle stimulating device like this. So I can, I felt the difference of those older models. This is, it's completely different. It is so much more intense. You can get so much more out of it. The like physical therapy aspect that took me six months to go through, you can get in half the time, maybe even less with this new version, this AccuFit that has that dual electro and magnetic. That's awesome. It's cool to see how things develop or evolve over time rather, because you see different applications for these things where it'd be predominantly for injury. It'd be more reactionary and where this is more, you know, before an event, before a sporting event or, you know, before a fight or whatever it is. Yeah, very People proactive. Take, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, it's interesting to see how things continue to develop that way. What do you think has been the most interesting part? I'm going to back that question up. What do you think has been the most challenging part of the business in the last four years? Well, COVID, obviously, I would beyond, say. But beyond but, that, though. But so, I mean, there, I wouldn't say that there's the most challenging part. I would actually go with the first question, the most interesting part. Okay. Um, for me, it has been absolutely amazing seeing the change in people's faces. For example, our co-founder, um, he had really dark circles under his eyes. And and I never really thought about it. I, I, just, I just knew, hey, let's do skin tightening. And hey, we can tighten up because we can get very close, you know, to the eye. You, you know, we're folding the skin over the eye socket. And, um, and it was absolutely insane to see the difference before and after. He looks like in the original photos, like he has two black eyes. <laughs> and now it's like literally it's it's so completely flat there's no dark circle it's insane and his whole life he had that it's just that that was the way that you know his you know his aging process you know was naturally going about but we were able to reverse that and it's interesting seeing like even uh, we've got uh, for example my mom she's in her 70s and when she first started this and, you know, and so just seeing the change in her face and how much younger it is and the, and the skin tightening on the jawline and, you know, on the arms and stuff, it's just, it's literally amazing. And I think that is, for me, that's been one of the biggest game changers because I, I really, I've always cared about skin health and all of that, but I didn't understand how much could actually be changed without surgery. And I did, you know, and a lot of it's proactive, like even, even like the UV damage, when we're running the laser over your skin, we're, we're getting rid of the precancerous skin cells. So oh, wow. you're actually like, you can hear it. Yeah. You can hear it. Sounds like it'll terrifying. crackle. It's, yeah. and then the oh, first wow. time, the first time, <laughs> <laughs> the first time, yeah, the first time we do it on someone, you'll hear it crackle. And it's, it's crazy. Like I look at my forehead, um, as a runner, you, you sweat off all of your, your, uh, sunblock on your forehead and, you know, places in your hands and stuff. I have no brown spots on my hands anymore. I have no brown spots on my forehead or face. It's like, it's literally, you know, it, it's a, it's a life changer when it comes to that stuff. Wow. That's the crackling is, is interesting to me. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. That's oh, the cool no, part. I, yeah. I imagine not. It's just, it's well, just interesting I mean, to think about it. It doesn't hurt because you're numbed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, so let's talk about the risk side of things. Are there any risks associated with using these types of devices? Well, I mean, there's always risk. You need to have a, a, a provider that's certified in, you know, and understands how to use the technology. And, you know, and that's like, there's a lot of training that you undertake to really get to that level. Um, and there's post-treatment protocols. I mean, yeah, pre like, and post-treatment. Yeah. Being diligent about that process, wearing sunblock, especially after using like the laser, because it, I mean, you're taking uh, like laser skin resurfacing, you're taking off those top layers of skin. That's your protective layer. You need okay. to make sure that you're protecting yourself. But at the same time, our, our approach is non-invasive. So when we, when we're doing a treatment, a client, like say we're, we're doing a facial, um, you know, treatment, a client will be bright red right after we do the treatment. And then we put on our hyaluronic acid, then we put on our recovery balm. By the time the client is ready to leave, they just look like they got a little sun. Oh, wow. Is that crazy? I mean, they could go back to work. In four hours, they could put makeup back on if they wanted. You know, we, we don't advise that because we'd rather just have the skin. We'd like, we put this, you know, 
great stuff on your skin. We'd rather just leave that on for 24 hours. Um, we've got a pre and post uh, treatment kit that really helps uh, make the most out of your treatments. Um, the one, of, one of the things that we use, we're, we're really big into elastin product lines. And elastin has what's called the nectar. And so we put that on a few days prior to doing the treatment, which gets rid of all the, the dead collagen and basically makes room for the new collagen growth. And then after the treatment, uh, we use elastin's nectar again to continue with that rejuvenation. And then we use the restorative um, complex, which basically boosts the elastin and collagen. It's kind of like miracle grow for the skin, you know. So okay. we're like, you know, we're we're boosting the elastin and collagen with the healing process, and then you put this on, and it just expedites that. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, this sounds very technical to be able to master all of these different things and then stay up to date on it. Cause I'm sure the, like you said, the equipment's constantly changing well, and that's the nice thing about having a professional team. When you're passionate about Absolutely, it, yeah. you just, it's like, I mean, it's like anything else. You, you just, just get addicted to it. You're like, wow, this is so cool. What else can we do? Well, Cause you see the benefit that it has in other yeah. people's lives, you know, cause yeah. I'm sure people, you know, a lot of that goes into people's, you know, depression and just state of mind. And I'm sure a lot of that helps people, you know, just feel better in general. It, that's exactly right. I mean, it's like you're looking better and you're feeling better. That's you know, good. it's like that's one of our, yeah, our biggest self-image things. self-image is definitely a huge part of it. Very good. So to, to wrap up the podcast, I want to go round table, 30-second favorite thing about the business. We'll start on my right. Oh, man. Okay. No pressure. Uh, I guess for me, it's the comprehensive nature of the treatments. I mean, like, literally like if there's if there's something wrong with me physically like skin wise anything like that like i know that like there's probably a solution that we can find um for instance like i kind of gross but i end up getting a lot of like back acne just from i mean i'm in the gym all the time you're sweating like it's uh like laser take it out um, I have a genetic predisposition to get these bumps on my arm, uh, because I'm Hawaiian and I don't eat enough fish, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's actually helped reduce the inflammation there. Um, facial puffiness, like I do a little bit of acting, uh, if I'm going to an audition or something like that, if I do a treatment like a couple days before, I know it's going to pull out some of that water from my face. I know it's going to like, just make me look a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper. It's going to get rid of some dark circles. Uh, but, I mean, stretch marks. I get stretch marks all over my arms, all over my chest. Like, microneedling has been immensely helpful for that. For a while, I was actually losing a little bit of hair in the front. I was seeing some thinning. Uh, we got into using the care lace. Like, we started doing the hair restoration treatments. Suddenly, I was getting growth just right back to normal. Like occasionally I'll do a checkup treatment just in case, but I don't know. It's really been hugely helpful for me in all areas of life and getting to invest in these machines and getting to see how it all works. Even though I personally don't work as a technician, I'm fascinated by it and I'm excited. Well, you are about certified. It. I yeah, am you certified. Are certified. <laughs> I learned how to do it, but I just, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that to other people. I guess it's you. just intensive. So, Marquis, 30 seconds. What do you think? What's your favorite part okay. of... I think my favorite part of the whole business, the whole yeah. process, is that... Um, so, I come from, like, um, a customer service background. It's really the ability to... Because um, everyone thinks of it as, like, a very superficial thing. You think med spa, you think spa treatments. It's very superficial. Sure. It's, um, like, the whole business's ability to make people feel happy, feel better about themselves. You're not just doing a superficial thing. You're really like taking time to connect with your clientele, our um, technicians. Like they're not just silently like doing these procedures and like kicking you out and you're like, peace out. They're, your wrinkles are gone. They're like taking the time to like get to know our clients as well. And it's like the whole process start to finish is just, it's very personable. And it's, it's like a really nice experience on the customer end. Cause I've, that's, what I have a lot of experience with, with our business. And it's just start to finish. It's like a wonderful experience. That's great. Jennifer. I don't even need 30 seconds. What I love the <laughs> most is changing people's lives because that's what I see. It's like, you know, when, when somebody comes in and they've got an insecurity and we can take care of that. When someone's got pain, we can take care of that. When, you know, it's like being able to, you know, do things that people don't think they could do, you know, and I just absolutely love that. I love making people feel better and, you know, when they look good, they feel good. And, you know, and our, our equipment is beyond just the surface. And I think, Marquis, you really said that well. You know, it, it's definitely not just about aesthetics. It's about, you know, the whole wellness and, and everything, you know, that goes into it. 
That's wonderful. And I can tell you guys are all passionate about mm -hmm. this and you know, this is a big part of your lives. I know we're going to put all the contact information for the business in the show notes for the podcast, but what's your preferred method if people want to reach out and get started and learn more? Where, where would you direct them to go? Just give us a call. Yeah. They could go to our website and fill out the form. You know, they can request a consultation, but just give us a call or, you know, or send us a text. Great. Excellent. Anything else before I wrap up today's show? Um, well, we actually brought a little something oh, for you. We just, uh, I didn't know do we were doing that on air. We certainly can, but um, that, that wasn't a prompt for that. No, no, no. No, I was just thinking we, we just brought you a little something so that you can Gross stop by back. and you can, yeah, you can stop by and see what we've got going. So we have our, um, put a little literature together for you. Very good. That like kind of goes over the hair, body, and skin. That's cool. And then we included a little gift certificate for you oh, that you can either you, you can either give to your mom or you could use for yourself. Whatever. Well, I appreciate you know, that. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. And I appreciate your guys' time and how much energy and effort. And I just made Johnny's editing a, a nightmare with all that crinkling <laughs> on the mic. And my apologies in advance. Uh, <laughs> but I, I appreciate your guys' enthusiasm and passion into this topic. And it's it's obvious you guys care an awful lot about this. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Absolutely. It's been a lot of fun. All right, everyone. That's going to wrap up this week's edition of the Chamber Podcast. I appreciate all of you watching. We'll catch you on next week's episode. Take care.